home with our little baby Leo. I'm currently feeding right now. Oh, there you go. And so far the feeding journey has been eventful. I was able to have my first latch in the hospital, which was really exciting. Although when I thought I had a first latch, I literally didn't know what I was doing. And we met with a lactation consultant. And now I feel super confident. I went from feeling like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this for as long as I want to, which I said a year, um, to now being like, I can't wait to feed him every time he's hungry. And I just want him to wake up so we can enjoy this together. We just got back from a road trip. It was about a 12 day trip. The first day for me was a little stress induced because um, my supply wasn't as strong as it had been. And I was starting to freak out with us now taking this trip and not having any formula or any like backup milk that I had been freezing. Thankfully though, the next day after getting more sleep and drinking tons of more water, my supply came back. In the beginning, nursing was very regimented and I was constantly looking at the clock and now I'm at this point where like, I kind of know when he's full and when he wants more. It's so cool to be at that point where it feels way more natural than when it felt just like scheduled. I've noticed that when I pump, my supply is really low and it's just starting to get in my head and getting me concerned that I'm not producing as much as I used to. I'm also gonna be going back to work next month. I'm excited to get back to work. Um, but yeah, I guess just the concern of like, if we're doing more bottles during the day, you know, how my supply will, will end up panning out and I'm already seeing a change, so. Who knows? I mean, I guess I, I've been anticipating this, so it's just kind of a bummer once it starts to happen. I'm just having a really tough week and uh, I'm just feeling so overwhelmed by all of this and feeling like I'm just back at square one with learning how to nurse my four month old son. And I'm feeling sad and I'm feeling tired. And I'm feeling like I'm losing the joy of parenting. We're struggling to feed him the milk that I have in the freezer. The enzymes in my milk are causing it to smell differently and Leo is not a fan. If it ends up being that Leo doesn't want to take what I have in the freezer, I think our next move will be to slowly incorporate formula. The birth control that I was on was releasing high levels of estrogen, which I shouldn't be getting right now. Since getting off birth control, my supply has gone back up. I'm in a better place, one, and I'm also just trying to do a better job at like listening to Leo. His needs as far as like how much he eats might be different than what they say on the internet. So milk is good, bottle, we're getting better with that. And today is my official first day back at work. I'm grateful that I get to be home with Leo. And I'm also just sad that our special time that we had for the last five months um, is gonna be different. We have officially hit six months. I don't know why this just feels like such a huge milestone. We've started to make the night routine a little bit more entertaining. It's become a really special time that the three of us get together and we're in, the, in his room and we're on the floor and Ryan's feeding him a bottle. I'm reading him books. He's not fighting Ryan on the bottle. I'm able to pump and be distracted by us enjoying time together and not thinking about the minutes that I'm pumping. We're finally in this groove and now I'm more mentally prepared for dips as they come and they've been coming every month. He's also trying solids and hopefully now this means like as his palate starts to mature and grow, incorporating formula and seeing how he does with that. 
thinking back on my first video about what my hopes would be and my feelings on nursing and how I set this like goal of it being a year. Now that we're halfway through and I'm thinking about another six months of, of breastfeeding, it's a little daunting and I don't know if we'll get to 12 months. Stay tuned.